also have something there for the, for the adults who have to sit through it. You know what I mean? I think there's plenty. Yeah. Well, it's a wonderful opportunity to just be an arch evil guy, you know, and just be completely over the top again and, and have some fun with reality, you know? So uh, I always like that opportunity when it comes along. You know, I'm, I'm game for that. It's so much fun. The character's so much fun. He doesn't care. I know, right? He's absolutely right. That's awesome. Really weird. Oil! Yes. Is that weird? No, no. Did you all know? One question. You just got to get them in there. Done with it. Done with it. Done with it. Did you nail it? Huh? Did you get it? Yeah. Watch her, watch her. I will see so you come with, come with me. Come with you. Oh, here's in November this year, and it is 50 years. I'm going to read the first page. The Testament has three narrators, and uh, this one is a very special personage. The Ardua Hall Holograph. Only dead people are allowed to have statues, but I mean, I am. She's <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah, so like that, and then I started thinking about it again, and then I started thinking about it more after 2008, uh, when, as you'll recall, we had the world financial meltdown, and things always got squirrely around those times. And um, I read the scripts, I make notes on them. I don't have any actual power. I have, quotes, influence. I have influence, which is not quite That's the same. That's the real power. You, th you think, <laughs> not always. Um, so, in my Thomas Cromwell position, vis-a-vis -vis the show, <laughs> for, for years, um, it was in the uh, 2008 election, it was in the 2012 election, and it certainly was.